Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today's episode, well, started out with more snow. So it snowed twice, two separate occasions this week. We just got over some of it. Some of the, all the roads were all icy, thinking it was going to be a bit better. Then it started to snow again last night. So today's road trip is going to be a bit more interesting. Hopefully we make it on time. Hopefully we make it. So today's episode is going to be with my client, Ryan Withy. His Instagram handle and how he's better known is Don Valley. So we're going to go and meet him and his girlfriend, Karina. Uh, her Instagram is K-A-R Fitness. We're going to make our way down to Saxon Gym, which is, I think it's Birmingham, might be Wolverhampton. I think it's Birmingham. We're going to train a bit of chest and triceps and just have a bit of fun with it. So I actually met Ryan in 2016. He's always had a physique that I really admired. He was always really, really heavily muscled. Very, very round muscle bellies. And we always kind of kept in contact. But not so long ago, he came on our podcast and we got talking more. Then a couple of times in his last prep, he confided in me a few times. Actually, I learned a bit more about him then. He is someone who has potential that is through the roof. Ryan's biggest issue is mindset on prep. If he diets for too long, he starts to lose his mind a little bit. It's nothing to do with his ability. The guy is one of the best physiques I've ever seen. It's fucking amazing. And you'll see that today. He's probably going to make me look small, which is not great. Small and weak, by the way. He's actually incredibly strong as well. So that's going to be interesting. We go back quite a long time and oh, special guest appearance. sniffing my hair mate we just came up with a little plan to sort his prep out but as i say i don't want to push him too hard to the point where he loses his head again because i say all he needs to do is realize his potential because if he brings a hundred percent condition which i think we can do he's going to be a problem for anyone to beat and actually i you know i think he's got a pro level physique already it's just a case of making sure that he makes the right steps during prep so that's what i'm here for but anyway just going to do the food prep and get our way down there hey okay, mate right here is the big dog a big dog. Round as fuck in person. Yeah, Crazy, man. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Finally so, linked up. So. so where are we at, mate? Where are we at? We're at Foundry Gym in Cannock. Yep. Uh, just around the Birmingham area. Lovely. Um, so it looks quite a good gym, quite a lot of kit. So I'm looking forward to doing uh, some chest and triceps today. Yeah, so get a nice pump. Yeah. Um, so, mate, tell us your competing history. Well, I've competed a lot. I've been doing about like, 20 shows. I've won a lot of shows. But to be honest with you, I've never really reached my potential. And I think a lot of people know that as well. So this is why I've linked up with Ryan, because he's seen me at very early on in my career, uh, my second show, and he could see my potential from then. And we've always spoke, and I think he's the man to drive me into the condition I need and keep my mind straight. So this is why I've linked up with him. Yeah, yeah man. I think um, that's the thing with you, mate. It's, like, it's not that you haven't got... Uh, I've actually already said this in the intro. Yeah. You've got it. Yeah. You've fucking got it, mate. I just need to be your friend, and I need to be someone who's going to, yeah. like... Stop me from doing stupid shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm a very, I like hands on. I'm not, I like a arm over the shoulder kind of yeah. coach. Yeah. Not one that's just like galvanic. I like to have a coach who cares and can talk to me. Communication is key for me and keeping yeah. my mind straight. So. I think um, I think if we nail this, mate, there's a very strong possibility you could become a pro. Yeah. Well, that's it. I really this, believe it. This is what we're going to decide when we're, we're going to start prep and we're going to aim to start with a PCA show. But just, just a couple of weeks after that, there's a two-bro show. So if Brian thinks and believes that I'm in that sort of condition where I can, I can be competitive in that two-bros, then we're going to jump into that and potentially go for the pro card. So just, just down to how our first prep goes is how we're going to plan our, our, what we're going to do, basically, isn't it? I think, uh, I think the thing is just making sure that we don't overcook it. Yeah, of course. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. ease you into each show. Don't, not too yeah. much stress, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, so anyway, today what we're going to do, uh, we're going to try and do a little bench off or something? Yeah, we're going to do a little bench off. <laughs> Obviously, Brian hasn't benched for a long time. Um, he used to be a, a bench and a lot and a heavy as well. Uh, but you've had a long break off that, haven't you? So You're trying to make excuses for yeah, that? Yeah, no, no, no. But, well, I'm, 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 doing bench, I'm benching every week. I've been doing it for like a, a year now, solid. Yeah. So I'm pretty um, flat out with the bench. But today, I train chest Monday, so I don't want to overdo it. Yep. So we'll just see what we can do. Maybe yep. see how much we get for two plates, three plates. So that's some fun. I was thinking, as a bit of fun, let's do a free plate and And just, just do how much yeah. you can go I'm for. Yeah, how many can do it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Sweet, right. I, I'm going to get my ass handed to me, 100%. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> We've got 120. 120 on the bar. Warming up. A little warm up. And then, uh, if it feels good, we're going to go for three plates for as many reps as we can. Yep. We're both aiming for at least 20. That'd be great. Mate, you're going to get way more than me. <laughs> So off camera, we were just saying, you overthink everything. Like if you were to injure your pec, 
right now, like as a bodybuilder, game over. So we're just gonna see how this one feels. If it doesn't feel right, we won't do it today. Yeah. But, so yeah, let's go. Put on right. Let's get it. Easy, lightweight. Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah? I think. Ah, ah! Right, one, two, three. Yep, my bar. Last time, but well done, well done. I'm happy with that. 25. Yeah. You ready? Maybe. <laughs> now, this is the first time uh, using wraps in uh, probably six years. So, if I can see. If play out. Okay, keep, hold on, keep going a little bit lower. Yes. Yep. Is that okay there? Yep. Yeah. I'm blowing out like my ass. It's a job, right? Yeah. Your elbow? Yep, sweet. Yep. 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 Three, two, one. My first. Come big dog. Come on. Come on. Oh, you got more. Hey. Oh, <laughs> brother, I'm not <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the room. Good. Nice one, mate. Oh. Fuck feel good? Me. Yeah, feel I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Yes. I'm just. But, Rye, we need to confirm something, mate. They are 20 plates. They look like 10s, <laughs> but they are 20 kg. They don't look before, they're heavy. <laughs> we look like we're fake plates. They look small. <laughs> Come on then. Strong, bro. Come on. Come on. One more, one more. Squeeze, yeah. Good. Take it there. Yes. Yeah. Well done, mate. Woo. We've done a little bit on chest, and now we're on to a little bit of arms. So, Roy. I was thinking something for the viewers to yeah. take from this. Someone of your caliber, someone of your strength level, what kind of advice would you give to newer lifters who are trying to get really, really strong? I would take your time because I see guys, say, benching two plates for, say, six reps. They want to just put a third plate on for the sake of doing it for a video and trying to get one or two out or, out or struggle. Uh, I see people get injured that way. Build it up. Go in smaller steps like me and Ryan did today. We went from 100 to 120. Feel things like as well. On the day, feel things like because you're not always going to be exactly the same every week. Feel the movement out and listen to your body and take your time. And also, how old are you? I'm 33. And how long have you been benching for? On and off over the years. I, I've only recently, the last year, really took it. Oh shit, okay. Really, really got into it. Before that, I was just doing it every few weeks or something. Just. But, when, but how old were you when you first started? I started when I was like 23. 23. Okay, shit. So, so it's like, like 10 years or so. I a mean, good decade of like yeah. doing it. And, yeah. and you weren't like, you didn't immediately start and you could do like, no, 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 it, no took me, it took me a long time. It was only like two or three years ago, I was benching like three plates. And now I'm benching, I can bench up to four or five plates now. Yeah. So it's in the last, where, where I've concentrated on it the last couple of years, I say, especially the last year, I've noticed it going right up. And something that even I can take note from as well is that you say you've never really been like properly injured. Yeah, I've never been injured. And what can you attribute that to specifically? Again, um, the same things? Or? I, I believe you're listening to your body on the day of the, of the, on the, day of the working out. So if on the day you didn't feel that, feel a little niggle, or you didn't feel quite as strong, because that does happen, even if you hit all of your, your goals or hit all your targets for the week, it's just humans, we're human. 
So listen to your body as well. But also, if you can use wrist wraps, elbow straps or wraps, use it, that's what they're made for. You know, and I've always done that and I've never got injured. And I do the same on my knees. So if people do this, they can bench five plates, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you can bench five plates. <laughs> <laughs> what, that's bigger right here? Oh, I don't know. Stick your ass though. Stick your ass Yeah, that's it. Go on, both of you. No, right, go stand up. Do a glute shot. Go on, let's do back. Yeah. Ryan, you know what a glute shot is. Come what? on. Glute shot. That's it. <laughs> oh, oh, I wanted to do, oh no, that's a real shot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in fact if you walk on as well, yeah. throwing you in the deep end now. So literally walk on from there, hit your front pose, just in front of this line, so I can yeah. see you well. Right, go far in. Nice. Good. Good. Okay, and into your front pose. Nice. Good. So front pose is awesome. Like I yeah. can't really there's nothing really to improve that. Obviously your wellness not bikini, so we do want to see that back quad. If you were bikini, what I would do is I would slightly hide your back leg, put a little bit more emphasis on the glutes. Yeah. Make the waist look super small. So what I mean is like this, to yeah. like hide the back quad a little bit, make the glute look a little bit bigger. But where your wellness, we want to see this nice big yeah. sweep. So we want to really snatch back this so. waist. And we want to keep that leg nice and straight as well. You'll see wellness girls that are not very quad dominant but yeah. bend into the back leg. Yeah. We don't want to do that. So we keep it nice and straight, but really push your weight back into that. So keep it straight and sit into that hip. Now Here, because yeah. we'll just widen all of ourselves. We yeah. want the waist to still be super small and the glutes to look as big as possible. Yeah. So we don't want to turn this way neither, because mm -hmm. the glutes look smaller. Yeah. We don't want to turn this way because you look too wide. Yeah. We want to be bam. Just like that. Yes. Emphasis so cool. all on the glute. Mm -hmm. Then when we step into that back shot, we want to take a relatively small step because if we were to stand here and take a massive step, we're gonna flatten Lose the glutes. Mm -hmm. Yep. We want to keep pushed right back. As soon as we turn, keep the hips up, 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 and bam, into that back shot. Nice. Now, I just want to trial something with you here. I've been watching this back anyway, hearing you talk, it's like, okay, I could practice. Last time I wore yeah. heels was like six months ago. So my feet are just like. <laughs> and to put you on the spot at the end of training and go, right, put some heels on and just walk and pose. Yeah. Like, that is hard. So, mm, so yeah. it's just practice. It's just yeah. Practice. No, but thank yeah. you for that though. No, you've got an awesome physique. It's just, it's just displaying the right angles to judge it. That's all. Yeah. Really. That's it. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>